Ah yeah, honest discussion right here. How's everybody doing? Um, before I talk about what I really want to talk about, just want to say the uh, exchange with Dr. Polis will continue next week, uh, but with as little Dr. Polis as I possibly can, I'll try to keep his clips down to, the, to a minimum, despite the inevitable title I've already picked uh, for that, uh, but I'll keep the whole thing as brief as possible, and I'll split it up into a few things so that we're not dealing with everything all at once. Uh, but that aside, uh, I wanted to recommend a movie um, called Something the Lord Made. Uh, and despite the title, it has absolutely, well, I don't want to say nothing to do with religion, but it's certainly not a pro-religion movie. Um, it could even come off as anti-religion in, in one or two scenes, but really, the, the, the main focus is uh, medicine. It's based on the true story of uh, heart bypass surgery, which uh, prior to uh, the two gentlemen in this movie, uh, Alan Rickman and Mos Def, uh, the characters they play, Prior to them inventing heart bypass surgery, the heart was never touched. It was a medical uh, taboo to com just completely stay away from the heart. It was something that you just could not, um, there, there was just, it was perceived to be an impossible thing to ever do any sort of heart surgery. Uh, and, you know, today it seems almost routine. Uh, but it starts off in the Jim Crow South, and you see most deaf, you know, under Jim Crow laws, and even though he's mainly responsible for many of the innovations that lead up to um, the heart bypass surgery, he's still, you know, not given a lot of respect and all of this, except, of course, from Alan Rickman's character, who's, you know, a wealthy, uh, <laughs> white, obviously, person who's, uh, you know, a, one of the head surgeons. Um, but it's really well acted, really well shot, um, a lot of it takes place uh, on the actual John Hopkins University campus, uh, and I would highly recommend you take a look at it. It was made by HBO, so maybe you, some of you already seen it, but in case you stayed away because you thought it was just some you know pro-religion movie, it has yeah, a little deal away from it, but I just thought I'd put that out there. Have a nice day. Honest Discussioner, out.